<laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tool Time. In this video we'll be looking at the reshape tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm going to hand you over to our lead designer Rory who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template file, we can find the reshape tool underneath the scale tool over on the left hand side. So simply click and hold on the scale tool and you'll find it down at the bottom of this sub menu. And to use it, we first need to select an object. So I'm just going to press V on my keyboard to switch to my selection tool. We'll grab this horizontal line to begin with. So this works with open and closed paths. I'll select my reshape tool again and I can simply use this by clicking anywhere along the path you'll see my cursor slightly changes. If I simply click and drag, you can see we're able to manipulate this line and it's also going to add an anchor point where we click. So I can do this again, just waiting for my cursor to change to denote that I'm hovering over the line and I can click and drag another point out and drag the line to my liking. I can also click and drag over existing anchor points to adjust their location as well and the line is going to adjust accordingly. Now, as I say, we can also do this with closed paths. However, we need to actually select specific anchor points or segments of a closed path. If I simply just select this whole object here and grab my reshape tool, even when my cursor changes, if I try and click and drag, you can see it's just going to move the object as a whole. So what I need to do is switch to my direct selection tool and I can either select an anchor point specifically or I could select a segment between two anchor points by clicking and dragging over it. Or you could do a mixture of both. I'm just going to click and drag over this bottom right hand anchor point and go to my reshape tool and as we've just demonstrated I can click on an anchor point and adjust the location of this. I can also click within this path as well and we can make some further adjustments to the flow of this line so I can keep clicking and dragging to adjust this to my liking. Again I'll press A on my keyboard and switch back to my direct selection tool. I'm going to select the other side now, grab my reshape tool and make some adjustments. I can also simply select an object and even with it selected, if I hold option on my keyboard and click and drag on the path here, we can actually click and drag out a duplicate as we would be able to do with our selection tool. This is one other function that we can do with the reshape tool. But that's it for an overview of the reshape tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where you'll discover the top five secrets of successful designers, which saves you the hassle of having to figure it all out for yourself. We'll be showing you how to immerse yourself in the sector you're designing for, creative thinking and how to spark creativity, what good composition is and how you can achieve it in your designs, how to pick the right colors for your designs and how to pick the right typefaces for your projects. So if you are serious about leveling up your design skills, then make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. Space is limited and these events always fill up fast because they're significantly better than the information others charge you for. And ours is free. The link is in the description. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.